Well, hopefully you find the rain soothing. Hi guys and welcome to today's video. So today's video is going to be on layering combos. So I just started getting into layering perfumes. I would say a month ago. I do like to pop on a perfume during the day and then find something similar and wear it after a few hours. So in that sense, I've always kind of layered, but I've been getting more into like layering some scents. And what I found in my quest for layering is a lot of these that I'm going to mention don't necessarily create a whole new scent. They just complement or amplify or give a little pizzazz, a little oomph, a little something something <laughs> into the scent already. Like I haven't concocted something that's been like, whoa, I just created a new scent. A lot of these just maybe give it a little something that it was missing. And then I have some honorable mentions at the end because there are a couple that they're not my layering combos, but I love them way too much not to mention them, but I'll go over that, you know, as I go. But let's go ahead and get started. So today's scent of the day, I did layer Twilly de Hermes with Alien Fusion. And I just hauled this and I had mentioned that I wanted like a ginger scent. But I will say that the ginger in here is stronger. So I was hoping to layer this so that this could be a little bit more cinnamony and this could be a little bit more gingery. And Twilly took over. So when I sprayed these, the Alien DNA, because it's already kind of weak and the fusion totally disappeared. And it just kind of, I would say, softened Twilly a little bit, made it a little, just a tad bit more fresh, but Twilly did take over. And I only think that's because it's the flanker, because you know Alien, the original, is kind of beast, and Fusion is a little lighter. So I was hoping that this would work out, but I would say that I still kind of got Twilly with a little tiny bit of Fusion, the very, very little bit. But that was something I, I did try today. I do think this is a great, like maybe if you wanna wear this during the day and then pop this on at night. They share similar notes that you could wear these both in the same day. So Alien Fusion has ginger, cinnamon, orange blossom, tuberose, white amber, and vanilla. And Twilly has ginger, bergamot, bitter orange, tuberose, jasmine, orange blossom, sandalwood, and vanilla. So they share ginger, tuberose, orange blossom and vanilla but i think it's because of the sandalwood and to me the ginger stronger in here that this just takes over but again i wanted to mention it because if i'm wearing alien fusion throughout the day and i kind of want something different this is definitely something i could pop on and it's not going to affect this so that's more of an honorable mention now this next one I think is gonna be great for fall. I did layer Cinnabomb from Be Layered with Alien Fusion. And Cinnabomb is just like the name would imply, it's a cinnamon bomb. I don't know if you've ever smelled those cinnamon brooms that come out during the holidays. When you walk into the grocery store, it kind of fills the lobby of the grocery store. That is what Cinnab Cinnabomb smells like. So I wanted more of a cinnamon. So I layered these together. Now, this use a very light hand and you will get Alien, but a more holiday version. And so I think I'm gonna like this combo like during Thanksgiving because I really love those cinnamon broomsticks around that time of year. It just reminds me of the holidays and that's what this combo kind of gives you. So again, that's layered Cinnabomb with Alien Fusion. So I did try this. It's not summery. Definitely something for the fall. It's very strong. While this is not a strong perfume, this one is. So this one you're going to want to use a light hand and then this one you're, you can go ham. Another one that I did try out the other day i want to try it out a little bit more was dolce and cabana's light blue sun and ariana grande's cloud so i did want to layer these together because i was hoping that this one would kind of bring down the citrus that i still kind of do pick up in the dolce and cabana's light blue and also that it would amplify the coconut in here Dolce and Gabbana's light blue definitely took over, so I'm, I'm gonna play with this a little bit more, but I did kind of want to mention this because I also think this is a, a scent that you could wear this during the day and then pop this one at night or vice versa because the notes, they don't clash. I'm not gonna say they're similar, but they don't clash. So I did kind of want to mention these as well. 
So I recently got Womanity and I really, really, I really fell in love with this scent. But the opening to this is a little bit tart. So I thought that these two would go really nicely together because of the notes. This has like fig in it and this has different figs and then this has praline and I just thought that this would create a softer, you know, version of Womanity. Womanity has fig, caviar, fig tree, and fig leaf and then Angel Cosia the 2020 version has fig, magnolia, patchouli, vanilla, and praline. So I will say that in this combo, Womanity does still take over, but again, they share enough notes that they make a really nice layering combo. I don't get coconut fig like I do in a lot of my fig perfumes in Womanity, which I wanted. I get it more in the dry down. So when I layered Angel's 2020 Eau Colcia, that gave me that coconut vibe. Now again, this does not have a coconut note, but the fig pulls very coconutty on my skin. So when I layered this, it gave me that coconut vibe that I wanted in Womanity, and also took down that kind of tart opening. But this is a really nice combo. So if you own both of these, I would suggest trying them. It's also nice, like if you wanna wear Womanity, and again, maybe wear this at night. These two don't clash with each other. So I really enjoy that combo. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you know that I'm a Twihart fan. I love the books. I read them before the movies came out. I still have my collection with all the original covers. So my best friend, Rebecca, yes, my best friend's name is Rebecca. She sent me the new, let me, let me go guys. She sent me the new Midnight Sun book. And this is basically Twilight from Edward's perspective. And I'm that person that needed to create a scent memory. So I went looking for a perfume and I'm like, well, let me just create something. So I mixed Giorgio Armani C. Passione with Van Cleef and R. Pals Rose Rouge. And surprisingly, C. Passione took over. But this gives it, gives C. Passione that darker, spicier rose that I that I want. So the notes in Si Passione are pink pepper, pear, black currant, grapefruit, rose, jasmine, heliotrope, pineapple, cedar, vanilla, amberwood, and patchouli. And then the notes in Van Cleef are black currant, pink pepper, bergamot, rose, vetiver, raspberry, musk, cacao pod, patchouli, benzoin, vanilla, and vetiver. So. With this Twi Hard combo, as I like to call it, Si Passione does come through more. After a while, I, I do pick this scent up more. But for the first few hours, this gives it the deeper, more peppery, soft, spicy version that I wanted. So this is a really nice scent that I have been wearing pretty much for the last four nights that I've been reading the book. So I just kind of want to create a scent memory so that if I ever wear this combo again, it will remind me of this time because I am a nerd like that. Another combo, this one is good. So I did decide to layer a Zara Wanted Girl with Britney Spears' private show. The Dulce de Leche note that's in here is fleeting. <laughs> the note is very much like in the opening, but this is a perfume that I would say after about two or three hours, it becomes more powdery and it becomes like more of a skin scent. So I thought that by layering Private Show, which is also light, but more sweet, it would, it would amplify this and it did. This was a really nice combo. Now it is sweet, so I do think I will enjoy it more in fall. A Zara Wanted Girl has pink pepper, ginger flower, orange blossom, pomegranate, dulce de leche, datura, hetron, vetiver, patchouli, and tonka bean. I don't get the dulce de leche in the mid. I get it more in the opening with the pink pepper and like the ginger flower. As this dries down, the dulce de leche kind of goes away and I'm left more like the pink pepper, 
the Tonka bean making it a little bit more warmer, but yeah, that that dulce de leche doesn't really stick around. Now for me, Private Show is a little bit more sweet and oh, yes. And this one has top notes of coffee, whipped cream, nectarine, clementine, jasmine sambac, orange blossom, and then dulce de leche, amber, and musk. And these two together, I do enjoy each of these on their own, but this is probably the only one in here that together, one doesn't take over the other. This is one that just smells delicious together. It's just sweet and dessert and perfect for fall. So this is probably out of everything, now that I'm thinking about it, the one that, I wouldn't say I created a new scent, but one doesn't overpower the other. They really do um, mix together to just make a very good, sweet scent. Next, and I've already mentioned this combo. So as you guys know, I really love Alien Oh Sublime or Oh Sublime, I'm not sure how it is, but I just wish the lemon lasted a little bit longer. <laughs> so I do layer Versace diamonds. Sometimes I'll wear this and then I'll just pop this right over or vice versa. Alien Oh Sublime, Oh Sublime. Um, this has top notes of lemon, orange, mandarin orange, galbenum and solar notes, mid notes of jasmine, heliotrope, tear flower, cherry blossom and orange blossom and then base notes of cashmere, vetiver, amber, and vanilla. And then Versace Yellow Diamonds has Neroli, Bergamot, Amalfi Lemon, and Pear. And then the mid notes are African Orange Flower, Water Lily, Freesia Mimosa, and then the base notes are Musk and Guayac Wood and Amber. A light hand with Versace Yellow Diamonds and then you spray this over it because Versace will definitely take over Alien because the Alien flankers to me are a little bit more softer than Alien. So you could definitely overpower a scent on how you spray it. So kind of want to mention that because if you spray that one more than the other, you might wash the other scent out. But when sprayed lightly and then you put Alien on top of it, that lemon does kind of stick around a little bit more. I do have Neroli from Layered and also I think it's like Sunshine Vibes that I want to try with Alien. So I will have to follow that up and let you know if that one works out because those are other citrus scents that I want to see if it helps bring out the citrus in that one. I do also want to try Extraordinaire because I hear that one's more lemony. Okay, and then my next this is another one that you got to be light-handed with the powerhouse. So the next combo is Zadig and Voltaire's This Is Her with Ariana Grande's Cloud. I do find Ariana Grande to be long-lasting and I do find this perfume to project. I smell this perfume on people when I go shopping, but it is a light perfume, meaning it's not a heavy scent. It's just a very light, airy scent that I have picked up on other people. So you could definitely drown this perfume out if you go ham with This Is Her. So what I usually do, cause this is a perfume that Dennis isn't crazy about. I love this perfume. So first of all, a little bit of this perfume goes a long way. I'll spray two of my pulse points and then I will spray this on top and it kind of takes off that masculine edge and this is her and gives it a little bit more of a sweetness, not a lot. You are definitely gonna still smell this is her. This is just to me, it takes off a little bit of that sandalwood and makes it a little bit more sweet, coconutty and creamy. So you do have to spray this one a little bit more. But that is a combo that I've noticed that when I wear it, Dennis doesn't ask me if I'm wearing that perfume. <laughs> so I wore it the other day and he didn't mention it because whenever I wear this one he does ask if I'm wearing that perfume he doesn't hate it he just thinks the sandalwood in here is a little too much so I do layer it because I still get my this is her DNA but it does cut down on it being a little bit sandalwood a little too masculine so I do like that combo okay and then we have some honorable mentions. I didn't come up with this one on my own, so I did want to mention that. But I also don't know if the person who mentioned it mentioned it in my comment section or I read it somewhere else. But someone did mention layering Geneva chocolate with Angel Muse. And this is a really nice combo. Geneva chocolate, 
is just a very cacao powdery scent yeah so these two layered together is really nice um you get more of a of a chocolatey cacao vibe so this one's really good so i did want to mention that but i did not come up with this combo another honorable mention this is probably my favorite layering combo but i didn't come up with it so Kara got it from a subscriber who mentioned layering dancing roses with Zelina and Takara's like I'm gonna layer dancing roses with first kiss and I'm like ooh I'm gonna try that too because I don't really use first kiss you guys know that Delina's like my favorite perfume and I think first kiss is a very close dupe replica of Delina but I pick up the incense more in first kiss and I find Delina to be more blended and for that reason, I prefer Delina over First Kiss. And also, Dennis can totally tell when I'm wearing First Kiss over Delina. He says First Kiss has more of a masculine scent to it. To me, it's that incense that makes this scent stronger on me. So on me, this pulls a little bit more masculine. So I was only really using this for reference. I had given it to my sister, but she had fallen in love with a few other perfumes and actually gave it back to me. So I was just using this for reference. And when I layered Dancing Roses, and I didn't think I would love it as much as I did because I love Dancing Roses, but there is a brief moment where the perfume gets very menthol -y on my skin. And I thought that First Kiss was going to overpower Dancing Roses, but it just amplifies the scent. It makes that cherry note last a little bit longer. It also makes that menthol vibe go away completely. And then it amplifies that Delina vibe towards the dry down. So these two together, are a match made in heaven because this on my skin does not take over it just amplifies dancing roses and this is probably how i will wear these perfumes from now on together i did not create this combo again takara got it from a subscriber who said to mix delina and dancing roses and she mixed first kiss and dancing roses and thank you both because this this is a match made in heaven so i do love that combo and now i do see myself finishing both of these bottles and then picking them up again down the road because together those two they're soulmates so next i wanted to go over the soul de janeiro boom boom cream i did have a subscriber of mine ask for recommendations on what to layer this with and i told her basically any gourmand scent goes with brazilian boom boom cream at the time i told her that i was using like viva la juicy and then my brazilian crush so since then i have picked up other perfumes and they are perfumes that go really well and it's all about notes you know the brazilian boom boom cream has like pistachio it has praline so it's just about looking at notes that go with with this kind of creamy yummy gourmand and this is very much a summer summer gourmand and it can also be a fall gourmand especially if you mix it with other perfumes but this perfume no questions asked goes with brazilian crush it also goes with capri coast this also goes really well together with azara wanted girl and britney spears these two go really well also any of the the girl of now shine and girl of now the original these are two that go really well because of the, the pistachio and the almond notes again i've worn these two together they go very well I haven't tried Angel Muse though. This is one I should try. Maybe that will kind of take down the menthol. So that's one I'm gonna have to try, but I find the Boom Boom Cream to go really well with sweet, yummy scents. That's just a few of the things that I like to layer. I am getting more into layering, especially because I'm trying to be more mindful about the scents that I am picking up. So I am having fun experimenting with scents. Let me know what are some of your favorite layering combos. That will do it for today's video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like me and haven't already subscribed to my channel, I would really appreciate it if you subscribe. Click that notification bell so you know when I upload. Until next time, guys.